the battle rifle is one of, if not the most important weapon for you to get down in multiplayer. And in this video, we're going to break down how to get better with the battle rifle. So if you want to know more, stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. How's it going Halo fans? Kevin here once again giving you a tips and trick video when it comes to Halo Infinite's multiplayer. And in this first kind of tips and trick breakdown video we're going to be talking about the battle rifle for Halo Infinite's multiplayer. As this weapon absolutely dominates in quick play and social modes as it's a pickup weapon, and for competitive, it's probably the most important weapon for you to get down in the game. So in this video, we're gonna help you level up your gameplay with the battle rifle. So if you like these kind of videos, make sure you tap that like button. Let me know you wanna see some more content like this and it greatly helps out the video and channel get a better place within that YouTube algorithm. If you wanna stay up to date with everything going on with Halo, make sure you tap subscribe. So let's get right into the content here. All right, so let's start off with the basics here about the battle rifle. So we're all on the same page as this video progresses. We'll get more detailed on how to shoot the battle rifle and how it works. So just know it's three to the body, one to the head or six shots to the body. We'll show cases right here, but you have to see for yourself how you actually need to aim this one. Cause it kind of surprised me when I first saw this. You can see one, two, three, four, five, six to the body. Now let's do four headshots in a row. One, two, three, four, not too bad. Now it's mixing the chest and the body. One, two, three, four. Four. You can see I was aiming for the upper chest right there. One, two, three, four. But you can actually just have to aim for the upper chest with like the top crosshair kind of around the chin of the player. So you go one, two, three, four. Because that vertical recoil of the battle rifle will three, kick up your shot two, to the head. So you don't actually have to aim for the head to get that headshot, which is super important to know. It'll give you a much more consistent experience while shooting the battle rifle. As you can see, I brought in this graphic in the lower left. This is an active kind of controller graphic that I downloaded so you guys can see how I'm utilizing my sticks and aiming while trying to track shots. The basic rule of thumb is you want to use your left stick for your macro aim, your general aiming, and then your right stick for micro aiming or micro adjustments. Keep in mind that the battle rifle for Halo Infinite is hit scan. That means you just have to aim where they are. You don't have to lead your shots like you had to in Halo 3. So basically you see the head, you click on the head, pretty straightforward. So let me show you what I'm talking about. So let's grab this battle rifle here and keep an eye on the sticks. If you need to, slow down the video if you can, if you need to keep track. So watch this, one, two, three, four. I'm mainly utilizing my left stick to keep on target. Obviously I'm keeping my right stick involved as well just to make sure i keep on target as well but mainly you can see how i'm you can see how far my left stick is moving but my right stick is doing like very little adjustments as well just to make sure i stay on target the whole time and also keep an eye on this i'm not leading my shots because the halo infinite battle rifle is hit scan so you don't need to lead your shots like you had to in halo 3. So let's take what we've learned from the first and second tier and let's apply it to the third tier, the most difficult one. Let's try to go for that three star. Throughout this one, keep an eye on when I'm zooming in, when I'm not zooming in, and how I'm utilizing my sticks when it comes to aiming, just so then you can see how much left stick and how much right stick I am utilizing. Again, you can always slow down the video to really take a look, close look at it here on YouTube. But let's focus up and go for a three star with the battle rifle. Did we hit it? I think we might have gotten a three star on that one. We did pretty well for ourselves on that. Let's do it. Let's see. Did we get the three star? We got the three star with the battle rifle. So all our learnings have gone into play. So next, next was going to strafing because we didn't really get a chance to utilize it with this training mode. I'll show you how strafing really plays out when it comes to in game with the battle rifle. All right, so I jumped into training mode here, just going like 1v1 against the bottom here. Right now they're on Spartan difficulty, have the battle rifle set up, and also have enemy location turned on, so you have to search from, play fighting on, so they don't shoot back, so you can get, at least get like the strafing maneuvers down and right. Now, Spartan bots definitely strafe a lot different than actual players and make a little more erratic movements that you wouldn't really expect to have happen, so you definitely keep that in mind, but if you can get a four on the Spartan bots on their strafe more consistently, 
you'll be doing a lot better against actual players as well. The ideal kind of strafe idea when it comes to, guy, you just jumped off the map, wow. The ideal strafe is to kind of like counter follow along with their movements as well. And also kind of help, you know, try your best to let your aim assist on the controller, especially do a bit of the heavy lifting when it comes to keeping on target. As you can see right here, you can see on my left stick, I'm really utilizing that a whole lot, but my right stick, not as much. So again, I'm just kind of like making sure that he stay, I stay on target right here. But again, here I'm following my character, utilizing my left stick and a little bit of the aim assist as well. So that's kind of what you want to focus on when it comes to your strafing maneuvers. You might want to add in in real life, like a little bit of a crouch maneuver to kind of just throw them off a little bit. So you try to get down like the crouch strafing maneuver because it's super useful. Also, a general rule of thumb is like the perfect strafe ideally is like left, right, left, jump, right kind of thing. That final jump really throws off a lot of players. So then your strafe will actually be at way more lethal. And so then you can actually have a better chance on getting those four shots more often. Of course, sensitivity does play a big factor when it comes to aiming in this game. So we check out our sensitivity right here. I like to utilize a low sensitivity with a high turn rate. So I covered this in a previous video for best settings. If you want to check that video, please go do so. Uh, for my look acceleration, I have it turned all the way up to five. My regular look sensitivity is at 2.5 for vertical and horizontal. I don't mess with the zoom sensitivities because with the battle rifle, it seems pretty good at the sensitivity as well as the regular one. So I don't really mess with those at all. The only sensitivity I actually mess with is the five times zoom sensitivity, which is the first scoped in zoom of the sniper rifle, which I felt was a little clunky. So I like to bump that to 1.4. Now for all these dead zones and thresholds, I pretty much just put them as low as possible to where you don't experience any stick drift. But nothing gets you ready more and up to date more when it comes to getting better with the weapon than using it. And playing it in real life. The battle rifle plays like a legitimate power weapon in these more social modes and you get the chance to use it a lot in competitive so definitely want to jump in and jump, grab that weapon as soon as possible guys. It will greatly help out your gameplay. The battle rifle is so important to get down that you definitely want to spend some time to learn this weapon. So if you're new to the channel and missing any content from me recently check out this playlist right here. I can link to all my Halo Infinite news and informational videos I've been uploading daily about. Thank you so much for watching. Greatly appreciate it. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.